This episode was requested by my patron, Landon Bowers. And you might be thinking, well, if I don't ask why, then how am I ever going to know what's wrong with my roleplay? But your roleplay isn't built to please everyone anyway, so why are you doing that? Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about what to do when players keep leaving your roleplay. So you've built this role play. You've put hours upon hours of work into it. It's taken you days or maybe even weeks to get to where you have it open and you launch the role play and you start getting players and that's great. But some players leave. Maybe even most players end up leaving and only a few stay. In this hypothetical situation for you, player retention is a goal. Even if it's not an explicit one, then it's an implicit one. So when a player leaves, you feel like there's something you should have done to get that player to stay. You Maybe you think if the role play had been like this, or if you had done this, they wouldn't have left. Has this ever happened to you? If so, this video is for you. So let's get into it. What do you do when players keep leaving your role play? There are two main things I see going on when you have a situation where a player leaves a roleplay and then the admin becomes distressed. Either they're leaving and you legitimately need to stop the attrition, or they're leaving and you shouldn't stop the attrition. So let's talk about some legitimate stuff first. Let's talk about what you should do to reduce attrition in your roleplay. Anytime you're trying to attract multiple people to something, be it selling a product or running a YouTube channel or opening a role play group, you need to be clear on what type of person you're trying to attract. When you're a newer admin and you think, well, I just want members, any members are better than no members, so you think I want to cast a wide net, that seems like a good idea, right? But it's actually not. When you try to appeal to everyone, you often end up appealing to no one. We're gonna get into a few marketing terms here, so bear with me. When you have a very saturated market, like trying to attract people to a role play group, you need to use a more targeted strategy. When I say saturated market, what I mean is that creating a role play group takes very little time investment and zero money investment. What that means is that lots of people do it and there are lots of role play groups out there. And if you're trying to appeal to that wide range, you might think, well, that means I'm going to attract the most people. And maybe you get the most people to look at your ad, but they look at your ad and they think like, oh, well, this looks fine, but this other group over here is exactly what I want. And yeah, they may join both, but which one do you think they're gonna stick with when they get busy? It's not yours. So first, understand, exactly what type of role player you're trying to attract. How often do they post? How long are their posts? What genres are they interested in? Do they want something more light and fluffy, more dramatic and angsty, or maybe dark and dirty? Think about it. And make sure everything in your group is set up to appeal to your perfect player. The next thing is to make sure your roleplay in general is good quality. Are your rules internally consistent and something you can uphold? I made a whole video about rules that I recommend to use in your roleplay, link up in the card. Did you have your friends proofread your roleplay for spelling or grammar mistakes? Did they also take a look and make sure that the world and the plot actually worked? When it comes to world building, I have a whole process that I go through. Again, for that link up in the card so you can go watch that video if this is something you need help with. And honestly, making quality role plays is what my channel is all about. So whatever it is that you're struggling with that you feel like is making your role play group not quality, take a look at my channel. I probably have a video on it. People are coming to role play to have fun, to chill out, to be dramatic in a safe space. And those sorts of things are true no matter the type of role player, no matter the type of role play. So don't be like those admins who think that just because they're in a position of power, they get to exert control over their players. And don't be like those admins that only care about having the largest role play and treat their players like numbers on a scale. Ask yourself, would you tolerate someone talking to you the way that you talk to your players? Leaving your role play is probably just the click of a button or not logging in again. So if you don't want players to leave your role play, 
don't show them the door. So those are some of the things that you can do to reduce attrition in your role play. Now, some amount of attrition is perfectly normal. It's not okay to try to prevent everyone who leaves your role play from doing so. When it comes to those negative feelings that crop up when people leave, your most powerful tool is to let it go. It's a game. Real life comes first. Maybe they got busy or bored or just more interested in another hobby, or maybe they weren't a fit for your roleplay in the first place. Either way, when someone leaves, do not, under any circumstances, message them and ask why. It's not your business. Messaging them and asking is harassing them. If people care to tell you why, they will. It's pretty normal for me when someone leaves a roleplay or realizes they're about to get kicked out, they'll message me and talk to me about it and explain what's going on so that I know it, that's fine if they want to do that. But if they don't want to do that, if they want to leave silently, that's fine too. It's not my business. It's up to them if they want to share it with me or not. And you might be thinking, well, if I don't ask why, then how am I ever going to know what's wrong with my roleplay? But your roleplay isn't built to please everyone anyway, so why are you doing that? And besides, is it really appropriate for you to message them and potentially make them super uncomfortable just so that you can have a better roleplay? If they left and they didn't tell you why, they already made that choice. Let's think about it another way. Say that you go on a date with someone and then you're working on setting up a second date, but they stop responding, basically they ghost you, right? Do you really want to know that the reason they don't want to set up a second date with you is because your eyes are too far apart? No, you don't want to know that. Don't worry about getting enough information. I promise you, some people will tell you, you don't have to chase down every single person. So since some attrition is natural and not preventable, and hopefully by now you agree that you shouldn't try to prevent all attrition in your roleplay. That means you need new regular people coming in to replace those that left. So how do we do that? We advertise. And I have a whole video about my techniques for advertising your roleplay link up in the card if you'd like to check that out. But what I'll say for this video is unless you have reached max capacity in your roleplay and really don't want new people, you should keep advertising. And if you do stop advertising when you reach capacity and then you lose a few members, well, it's time to start up advertising again. And it's as simple as that. Having fresh people regularly come into the role play will help you build out that muscle of letting it go when people leave. So to recap, we talked about five different things in regards to people leaving your role play and how to prevent it and how to be okay with it. The first one is understand the type of role player you're looking for and make sure you're setting up a good role play in the first place. Then make sure you're being a fair admin and don't forget some attrition is natural. So let it go and instead focus on attracting new people. So those are some of my tips for role play attrition. Did this help you guys? Do you struggle with this? And did this give you a new way to think about it? Or maybe you don't struggle with this as much, but maybe there was some new ideas or maybe you do something totally different. Either way, let me know down below. And as always, don't forget to make it a great day. Thank you.